Next thing we're going to do is make some backdrops. So we come down once again to the right at the bottom, but not choose a sprite. We go to the next one, which is choose a backdrop. And we will paint again. So we have these backdrops here. Let's go to number one. And let's see how fast we can do this. Let's get some yellow going on. And I'm going to grab a square. And I'm going to do a square like that. Next thing I'm going to do is put another square here. But I'm going to create some water. Now I'm going to desaturate a lot of these things because I'm going for a certain kind of look here. And that's a bit more of a pastel style look. So let's check that out. That's good. I'll select the yellow. Check the color and desaturate that a bit. All right. And then up in the air, I think we need something uh, which is even a very light blue or a light green kind of color. Great. And that can be what I'm putting up here. All right. Now that all looks a bit boring, but once again, um, our warp tool will come to the rescue. What I do want to do though is place this one here at the very back. So I'll select this and I'll hit back. I'll select this one and I'll hit back. So now I know that I have the beach, the water and the sky. And I'll go to the warp tool, select this one and we can start to make the beach look a little bit more interesting. And maybe it goes like that, maybe not too much. Maybe it goes up like that. All right, now, same with the sea. We don't want a rough day. It's not too much. But we want it to be a little bit more than just kind of totally flat. All right, now I can move that sky down, move it up a bit there. So it really covers everything. You don't have to be too careful outside the bounds of this box because that's all we'll see. And I want to make sure that it sits at the back. Okay, so now we can see the water there. Great. I might just desaturate that a little bit more just so it's really kind of a bit more subtle. Lovely. So that's good. I'm happy with that. Next thing that I will do is I will go to the square and I will look for a brown sort of color. I can do that by red and then taking the brightness out. And I'm going to make some tree trunks. So one and two. I'll go back here, go back to the green that I was after. And I'm going to grab a circle Great big circle there, another circle here, and I want this color also desaturated and a little bit brighter. That's great, and I can select that same color, paint bucket, and make the trees the same. And because we want a bit more of an interesting look than that, I'm going to get the warp tool and I'm going to grab this one and bring it down. Bring it down to there. I'll put one here and one here. So I'm just clicking on those lines. And I'll bring that in there. And that's the kind of tree I'm after. So once again, we'll do the same thing here. Bring these down a bit. Put one there and one there. And I can bring those in. And it just looks a little bit more interesting. Great. So there's our background. And that's our first background. And what I'm going to do is duplicate that and then duplicate it again. So this one I'm going to call Island 1. This one I'm going to call Island 2 and Island 3. Great. Now what I want to do is make these different colors and to uh, move them around a bit. 
So Island 2, I will go to the sand and I will make it a bit more like grass. The water is uh, possibly a bit deeper blue that day. The trees, mm, maybe the trees have gone purple. And let's turn the sky a different color. Let's make that. Yeah, that'll do. Great. And let's go to the next one. And we could do something like making this tree a bit taller. So I'll move that section up and I'll go over to this one. Sorry, I will select the trunk and then I can just move it up to there. And this one here, I might even bring down and I can get the warp tool and move this around a bit. Warp tool, move that one around a bit. So we're getting a slightly different look for everything. And let's look at some colors for this one. Here we went purple with trees and green with grass. Okay, maybe in this last one we will do a totally uh, different kind of color there. Maybe the water can be, well, we could go orange with water. Why not? And the trees, let's make the trees. Yeah, let's go a bit pink with the trees. And to keep that the same as that one, great. And then the sky, let's have a look at the sky and see what we can do there. All right, that's pretty good, except I want to desaturate that one just a little bit more. All right, so when we look through them, we have this one, this one, and this one. And I'm just going to change the trees around a little bit in number two just so they're a bit different from number one. So I've got a different look going on there, ever so slightly. All right, so here we go, one, two, three. Excellent, so there's our three stages. And in terms of design, we're keeping the basic looks of each level reasonably similar. And that's the kind of decision you need to make if you're going to keep uh, one theme running throughout your game or if you're going to have very different levels, maybe one set in a desert, one set in a city, one set in a jungle, that kind of thing. But whatever you do, make a decision and try and be clear about your aim and what you're actually trying to do. This one, I'm keeping it simple. So I'm sticking with the same kind of look for each of them, just changing the colors around so we register a difference. And uh, But really, we're doing this in a simple manner so that we can learn about the mechanics of the game rather than spending all of our kind of learning time on building the backgrounds. All right, so we've got our three backgrounds. What we need to do now is make a win and a lose uh, screen. And then we should uh, make a little bit of a title screen and then we're ready to get going.